Monday and good morning everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome. Welcome to our uh, Monday full body hit class. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for joining me. Um, so for today, I have for you um, again three blocks of exercises that um, includes using a uh, mini band if you have it. If you don't, again, as always, if you don't have any of uh, like the band or the weights, we can do all the moves without them. Um, so we have a mini band at a 45 pound weight. Um, I have four exercises in each of these blocks, 45 minutes uh, twice through. At the end of each, we'll have 30 seconds cardio, okay? Now, it is uh, kind of a back-to-back -back where uh, with, uh, with um, kind of quick transition, but if you need to take a break, please take a break. Anytime you need to have water ready, hydrate, and then we'll take a longer break um, uh, at the end of the block uh, before we repeat um, and then before we go to the next one, okay? So it's a quarter to 12. Let's shake it out and get started. Again, if you're just joining me, welcome. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. Quick hop that body, another one in and out. Again, I forgot to mention you also need a mat if you uh, like to use a mat if you're on the carpet and you're good, that's that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna start our warm up in a few seconds. So keep marching, relax, wake up the body. Again, take a kind of a note of how you feel. I would call it kind of a self-assessment during the warm up. It's, it's not only a time to warm up your, lubricate the joints, warm up the muscles, but also kind of take stock of your body, you know, where you kind of feel more you can uh, kind of need to, to pull back, where you need to push yourself, okay? So let's start this uh, step touch here. Scoop it up, elbows up to the ceiling. Again, you kind of feel like, you know, how you uh, kind of feel today. Every day is kind of different. So you gotta listen to your body. I encourage you to push yourself. I encourage you to uh, go that extra mile. But again, you're the, you're the best judge of your uh, abilities and where you can take this. Just enjoy, have fun. And three, two, and one. Come back to center. Just give me a squat down and up, making sure that you sit the right back. Chest is open. Feet are about a hip width apart, the lowest point. Your uh, toes rise up. And, and so again, exaggerate the breathing. Make sure you breathe, you don't hold your breath. Navel to spine. At the top, squeeze at the top. We're gonna go to uh, jumping jacks, high or low, in three, in two, give me one more, and one. So if you are jumping, make sure you stay on both of your feet, land softly or tap it side to side like so. If you wanna keep it low impact, that's it. You got this. Hip circles are coming up next, followed by arm circles. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Soft knees, one way. Just nicely opening up the hips, the leg flexors. Now stop, other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Arms palms down. I want you to give me a nice circle, shoulders down. You can make your circle bigger if you feel okay, if your shoulders are okay. Stop other way. That's it. Hamstrings, pull it down. There you go. And then we're going to finish it off with a few uh, uh, moves for your core to warm up through the core, down and up. Come on, push. Down and up. In four, three, two, one. Tap and twist. Take your hips with you. Warm up through your obliques, your core. See how you feel through your lower back. In five, four, three, two, and one. Give me a deep breath in and out. Last one in, beautiful. So the first block is all with the band, no weights. Uh, and again, if you don't have a band, uh, by all means, uh, you, 
can do these exercises without it. All right, so um, have the band, have my, uh, have the band above your knee. So you want to make sure that it's above the knee and it's in a spot that's not going to roll down at any given time and go on top of your kneecaps. Okay, so intentionally you don't want to be using your having the band on the knees uh, without you realizing that it's gone there. All right. So the first one, you're going to have your feet wider than your hips. We're going to take it three counts down, pulse three, three up, but we're not going to come all the way up. We're going to keep the quads under that tension the whole time. So that's your first move. The second one, we're going to do uh, one side and then when we repeat, we're going to do the other side. So you're going to go into that uh, split stance for the lunge. You're going to go down and then lift the leg back up. So it looks like this. You're going to lunge down and lift, right? So making sure that knee doesn't pass the toes. Make sure you kind of drop the knee, don't lean forward and squeeze, working back at the leg and glutes when you push up. If you don't want to push up that leg back, just do your down and ups with your lunge. Then we're going to get into a, a squat position like so. And we're going to tap forward, tap back, tap, sorry, not forward, side and back. And then we're going to repeat it on the other side. And then last but not least, we're going to get into our pillier squat. Sorry, I lied. You're going to grab your weights. You're going to do pillier and pull up, right? Making sure that you don't collapse your knees forward. You stay nice and wide, toes are to the 45, working the inner thighs, all right? So all the focus here on the lower body. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get going. Nice twice. So we're going to go one um, through the other. So we're going to do a quick transition. All right, so making sure toes forward, align with your knees, shoulders down, shoulder blades together. You can have your hands here, like a prayer push. You can actually activate the upper body as well. And now, right now, so it's going to be three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, so count, pulse, 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 up, three, count, all right? So you want to make sure, again, you don't come all the way up and you rest. You come up kind of to that um, position where you still have your legs, your quads under tension, right? And three, two, one, three, two, one. Your knees are all behind the toes, right? And chest is open. Three, two, one, three, two, one. There we go. Almost there. Three, two, one, and all the way up so pick a leg ready set again everything pointing forward so down and lift down and lift so control that lift and control the way down navel to spine nice and straight down drop the knee as far as you can to the floor that's it you really got to feel this. And again, you can have your hands prayer. You can go down and up like that. So whatever feels good for you. Up. I just think I'm, I like the movement of the arms. Get my arms working as well. Oops. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Ready? Into that squat. I'm going to really fatigue this leg here. I'm using that kind of the same leg that I was in that uh, lunge. So tap back, really feeling the glutes. Tap back, tap side, tap back. Oh, that's a killer. Now, if you wanted to switch, no problem. Just remember which leg you're on. So when you come back, <laughs> you know which side to go to. Hands in that prayer, tap side. Tap back, tap side, almost there. Come on, push. And then we get to the inner thigh and pull up. And then your cardio, five, four, three, two, and one. Ho, ho, ho. All right, so shake it out. Get into that inner thigh. Toes are pointed to corners. Arms in front of you. I have some of my thumbs out. Three, two, one. So drop and pull up your chin. Make sure that your wrists don't go like so. That's why I have my thumbs out here, kind of guide my wrists 
to be aligned here with my hands and pull and squeeze. There you go. Making sure that I don't collapse in, right? My, my knees are under, on right on my ankles here. Using the inner thighs, squeezing at the top. And come on, you got this. 10 more seconds and then jump squats. Our next for 30 seconds. And uh, two and one, beautiful. All right, take these out. So jump squats, you're gonna jump um, and land, go into a squat. You can go, if you don't wanna jump, you can always go up on your toes or to stand up in the squat. Ready, set, go. Looks like this, drive those arms like that. Make sure you sit it right back, right? Chest is open, land softly, roll on your foot to get your heels. Don't slam your foot on the ground. And if you are on a second level or high up, up level of your house or room or wherever you are, nobody should hear you downstairs. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shake it out. Well done. First round done. Take a drink of water. Keep marching. Active recovery. Enjoy. Your recovery time and we're going to repeat this all the way through again okay so grab the, the band start getting ready got another 15 seconds of recovery all right enjoy it remember which leg you worked or you uh, did your lunges and your squat on and then we're going to go to the other side all right so wide squat Let's go, three down, three, two, one, pulse, three, two, one, three, two, one, okay? So the whole time, you gotta remember, not come all the way up, right? Keep the muscle under contraction the whole time. One, up, three, two, one. So our lunge is next with the other leg forward, and in my case, right leg forward, left leg back with the lift. 15 more seconds. Gonna move the arms with that one. Three, two, one. And then they're gonna get into that squat and tap side and back. Three, two, one, three, two, and one. Let's go. So it's a down and a lift. Down. So it's a nice and slow, right? You don't want to rush through this. Make sure you got a good landing there at the back foot you're a little bit uh, staggered here with your stance split stance here and there you go and you really feel this on that standing leg nice control you got about 10 seconds here navel to spine that's it five four three two one, let's get in that squat. Ready, side and back. Side, that's a killer on this leg. All right, that's it. Side and back. Side, back. So again, make sure that when you come back in, that you got a bit of resistance when you go back so keep that resistance right on the band. You got this. And back. Almost there. Side. Back. Five. Two. And one. Whew, shake it out. Grab your weights. Inner thighs. Let's go. We're going to go down. Pull it up. Down. Pause. Nice flat back. Dropping the hips. Keeping the shoulders on top of those hips, working through the inner thighs. And you got this. Come on, push. And 20 seconds. And then your cardio and block one is done. Two more blocks to go. Beautiful. Let's 
Don't forget navel to spine, shoulders are down. Five, two, and one. Beautiful. 30 seconds, jump squat. Again, if you happen to jump, you want to take it down a notch. You go up, up on your toes, or you just squat down and up. Shake it out. Ready? Hip width apart. Let's go. 30 seconds. Come on. You got this. And you get the longer recovery. Get ready for block number two. Focus on the upper body. Give your legs a bit of a break. And our last block is on the floor. Come on, push. Navel to spine. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one more. Oh, well done. Deep breath in and out. Keep marching in and out. Beautiful. Grab a drink of water. Keep marching. Nice job. All right. While you recover, I'll explain the moves for the second block. We will start off with the band, but we have kind of band weight combination. So first one, um, there we go. We got the band right above our elbows. Bring that goal post, open to W, back, W, back. So really squeeze the shoulders together, right? Watch me through the back. Now, next one, we're gonna get um, the weights in our hands, like so. You can grab it here. I like to grab it here. We're gonna have it right in front of us. And uh, open, close, open. So chest height, shoulders down, but not letting go, right? Open, still resistance there. Next, we're gonna get into that deep, deep squat, put the weight here with the band. You can pick weights for this if you want and do bicep, okay? If you don't like the band, pick up your weights. And then for the last one, we're gonna have the weight, get that semi squat, and we're gonna do kickbacks, okay? For the tricep, all right. Fair enough? Good, all right. So, W, go post, shoulders down, shoulder blades together. Nice power posture. Don't uh, over arch through your lower back. Up right here in three, two, one. So open and close. So the whole time, you know, with the band exercises, you can remember when you bring it back in that you don't lose that tension. That's the beauty of it because you still have the muscle under tension. You don't let go completely, right? Exhale. And then into that W, in, W, in, beautiful. 15 more seconds, that's it. Then we've got the, the center, five, three, and two, and one. There you go, shoulders down, grab the ends, shoulders down, shoulder blades together. Bring your right in front of the chest. Ready? Okay. Open, in. Open, in. In. Beautiful. I know, especially after that move, you know? I kind of had the bicep after that other move. Maybe we'll switch, but I thought I'm giving your legs a bit of a break. <laughs> so that's why I switched over to uh, this one. But I think we'll do the bicep next because, wow, you ever feel your shoulders, your arms? You got this, come on. You got this. That's it, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, drop it. All right, get into that deep squat. You can uh, choose to use your, um, your weights. If not, get into that big deep squat. Have your elbow right on the side of your leg here, above your knee, and you're going to that bicep curl. If you don't wanna be in the squat, you can uh, grab your weights and stand. That's it. 
I know, the legs are talking to you. I know. Come on, you're almost there. Watch your wrist, right? It's very important. This is not invited to this party. So you don't want to roll through your wrists. You're almost there. I promise. Five seconds. Chest open. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Grab your weights for your tricep kickbacks. You can even hold the band if you want and do one arm and then do the other arm. You do that little semi squat, elbows back, hinge at the elbows, chest open. Don't drop your head before. Uh, below your heart and let's go key here pause at the top low pelvic tilt protect your lower back focus exhale on the exertion and then we're going to repeat this whole thing again after our cardio which is jumping jacks just like the warm-up you can do high or low that's it you got this come on and Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. Jumping jacks. So again, your option is to tap to the side or jump. Feels good when you move your arms up and down. In five, four, three, and one. Let's go. If you do jump, again, reminding you to stay balls on your feet. Land softly. You got this, keep breathing. In 15 seconds, you get your longer recovery. And then we'll repeat. And then block number two is done. That's it, come on, push. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, beautiful. March it out, active recovery. And then you know the deal. We're gonna go start from the beginning. We are open into W. Working the upper back muscle, muscles. And then we'll get down and do the bicep. And then we'll do the front. <laughs> Just to give your arms and upper body a bit of a break. All right? Get set. In three and two, 45 seconds on the clock. Open and close. Open, squeeze back, really squeeze. Bring your shoulder blades together. That's it. Nice power posture. Your feet firmly on the ground, soft knees, low pelvic tilt, shoulders down, you know, to spine. So anybody were to come over, push you, they will not be able to, because you're solid as a rock. That's it, 15 seconds, come on. Nice and slow that way back in. You're really, really resisting that band to not just kind of snap in. Give me one more. That's it. You got this. Beautiful. So let's change it up. Go down feet, other side for your. And if you just got up and did one side to the other, if you did both arms, then get down and let's go. Making sure again, your kind of elbow is right beside your inner thigh, right above the knee, your chest is open, your other hand is resting on the quad, no wrists, no wrists whatsoever. You got this. Just like that, you're more than halfway there. 15 seconds. 15 seconds, gonna fly by and you've got Two more moves, and then we're good to go to our cardio. Five, four, three, and one. Beautiful. All right, ready. Hold on. Let's go. Open and close. So again, I'm not coming all the way in. I keep that resistance. Just as gonna let go, I'm gonna open it again. Make sure your shoulders are down. You relax through the neck. Shoulders are down. Close. I like sometimes to close my eyes and really focus on the muscle groups working. It helps me to focus. Especially if it gets tougher and tougher, 
for eight, 10 seconds. And then a tricep kickback. Now for the tricep kickback, you change the arm position. I'm gonna go palms up to work a different head of the tricep. If it's a hammer, I'm gonna do palms up. Shoulders down, let's go. And that's it. You got this, come on. Don't rush, right? Let's go two counts up, two counts down. Keeping the elbows back. Now your elbows may flare out just a little bit, but not too much. I don't want them out here. And you got this, come on. It's about 15 seconds on the go, on the clock. I know as your arms get tired, your shoulders want to do this, resist. Push them away from the ears, low pelvic tilt, navel to spine, ascend the squat in three, in two, and one. Whew. Well done. Now, to seal the deal, cardio. Ready? I'm gonna change your arms, I'm gonna punch it up. Three, two, one. Punch up, feels good. Oh, my triceps here. <laughs> so you can do this. If you want it, you can punch it up. If you want, you can punch it across. So whatever feels good for you. Have fun with it, 15 seconds. We can also do this. Remember, tap it side to side if you don't want to jump. That's it, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, march it out. One minute recovery. This is your long recovery before the next um, walk. making really good time here so we should be able to get through the full block I know uh, I, can, I kind of shortened the um, cardio from uh, keep moving take big deep breaths if you like uh, from 45 to 30 seconds just so that I can finish off because I always have to either shorten the cardio at the end or not be able to do the full cardio or the full block so here we go okay give me another deep breath in and so you still have time to recover. I'm just gonna go down to the ground and then you join me when you're ready. So I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do here. So first, take your band. We're gonna have kind of combination moves here with the band. We're gonna put the band around again above our knees and we're gonna lie flat, legs up, open and close. Open actually, pulse three uh, and then close, all right? Then we're gonna keep the band here. We're gonna go into a bridge, but wider here, wider uh, 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 stance. And then push up in the bridge, and then as we do our flies, we're gonna open and close, all right, with the legs. And then we're gonna do the legs up straight, flex our foot, and then we're gonna re kind of reach side to side, do uh, uh, oblique, kind of oblique, uh, crunches there with our legs right up or you can have them down if you want and then we're going to turn on our tummy and then one arm one leg uh reach up pulse three times and down all right okay so let's get started here with our first move i explained the four moves and then we're going to go with the first one okay so as i mentioned we're going to have our legs up keep that resistance so you can have your hands right under your uh, here, right under the glutes, if that helps you to uh, get your lower back right on the mat because you don't want it to overarch right here. All right, all right, okay. So get it up there with your legs, and you can flex your foot. Really working the these are called the line abduction pulses. Ready, set, let's go. So open three, two, one, close. Three, two, one. Close. So navel to spine, don't hold your breath. So you're working the side of the legs, the glutes, and your core, the rectus abdominis is working, right? And three, two, one, close. And three, two, one, that's it. Good, I'm off my clock. And three, two, one. So you got about less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Have it, as I said, leg wider. Safely grab your weights, and you're gonna push up. Or you know what? Actually, have your feet about.
about a hip width and your heels close to your hips. And you're going to push up. I just want to make sure first you got kind of that mat, uh, natural or the or the uh, and the normal kind of um, lift into the bridge. And then take your foot and take it like a couple a few inches out, so it's further out. Right. So you're going to open and close. It's a small move, right? Have our hands above our uh, chest, not our head. So open and close. So we're going to do flies, hover the ground, then come up. And as we do flies, we're going to bring the legs out and in. Now make sure, so I dropped a little bit there. I don't know if you notice in the bridge. So we're going to make sure that we stay high up, right? Lots to remember, compounding moves, right? We're combining different moves here. And I'm going to hit the wall on my, on my side here. So I can't go all the way down, but you know, you can hover with your arms and come back up, squeeze. Hover a few more, a few more uh, seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. So slowly roll it down and then take it up again into that up, up, up. You can put it around your ankles here just to get, give it a little bit more. All right, ready? So you come up, you twist, you twist back down. But when you go down, don't go all the way down, right? You kind of hover and come back up. Your navel to spine can also have your legs bent like so, up and reach beyond your knees or have it right on the floor, right? You can also have it here, reach, reach and back, right? So lots of options, reach, reach and back. Now, wherever you are, whatever option you use, make sure you keep that resistance on the band. Up, you have a little ball between your chin and chest. Don't pull your neck. Exhale, twist, twist, down. And twist and twist, last one. And down, keep the band where it is. And turn on your, not on your tummy. Remember we're doing opposite arm, opposite leg. Can point or flex. Okay, rest on your head on the ground. And when you lift, you've got the resistance of the band and you reach and pulse and then down again. Okay, so you're gonna go three, two, one, and then down. All right, ready, set, go. Reach and lift, three, two, one. So I'm pointing my toes here. You can flex too if you like, three, two, one. I find when you flex, you're working more through, again, the back of the leg too. And uh, your glutes, really engages the glutes. Three, two, one. You can mix and match. You can do some with the, the leg uh, pointing or flexed. I mean, pointing and then flexing. And whew, you got this. So reach, pulse. I'm going to change it to a flex. You got another 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest your head on your other hand if you like. Three, two, five more seconds. Try to stay a quad off the mat too. Last one, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, for your cardio, you're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do bicycles, okay? So you can take the band out if you want or keep it on, ready? 30 seconds, up, let's go. So not too much rock and roll in your midsection, nice and controlled. Bicycle. Again, you're still trying to get your shoulder to the to the knee, which brings your elbow. So when you say get the elbow to the knee, I don't mean to actually pull your elbow or pull on your neck to get your elbow there. You've got to work through your glutes. <sighs> Come on. Core cardio here. Five, four, two, and one. Whew. Well done. Quick recovery. Grab a drink of water if you need to. Bring your knees into your chest. And we've got another round to go and you get the well-deserved stretch. So grab your, get yourself set up, get ready. We're gonna start off with those um, lying abduction pulses, okay? And really, if you want, you can even have your feet here and just go three, two, one, and in, three, two, one, okay? Put your feet down if you don't wanna take them all the way up. You can also do them in that, in a tabletop, okay, if you don't want to take them all the way up. All right, ready? I'm taking the legs all the way up. Uh, I'll flex my foot here, ready, set, let's go. So three, 
two, one, close. Three, two, one, in. So again, when I say close, don't let go of that tension. Keep the band on the tension. And in. There you go. You got this. Two, one, and three, two, one. You got this. Three, two, one, and three, two, one. I know. Three, two, one. Okay, that's not my time here. Come on, go about five seconds. Four. One more. Three, two, and one beautiful bring it here quick quick stretch let's put it down grab the weights we're going to do bench press this time around so again if you if it feels uh however feels good for you push up first in that bridge with your feet about hip width apart then pull them out if that kind of works better for you ready set let's go so squeeze up and down so as you go up you open open there you go you got this. Just make sure you really squeeze up. Don't drop in your bridge. We're using heavy weights again. Don't lose your form. After this, we're going to go to our um, oblique crunches. Again, your option is to keep your feet on the, on the floor, go into that tabletop and reach beyond the knee or go full into the legs up three and two and one slowly roll down go back to last thing that comes on the floor put this up here take the legs up flex the foot ready so center reach and reach center and halfway or three quarters of the way down right so you do not want to go all the way down and rest and down and up and down and up again keep that resistance see i've got the resistance on the band so as soon as you see come in open it up so up center and again if you're bent looks like this back down so center side side one more and side and side beautiful last but not least flip it over and on the other side opposite arm opposite leg flex or point or mix and match ready shoulders away from there you can rest your head try to get your quad off the ground three two one as you guys start off three two one remember the pulse i'm going to start off with a flex foot and then i'm going to do the um point uh, point my toes three two one and three two one three two one three two one i'm going to point kind of halfway there three two one three two one You got this, come on. 10 seconds. And then cardio, and I'm gonna sweat it out. Last one, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Working through the, you know, back of the leg, your glutes, your lower back. Really strengthening your lower back. You shouldn't be feeling any pain or shooting pains there. All right, so get into that five seconds. Into that, um, <laughs> ready, set, let's go. I forgot to mention, you know, for these 30 seconds, you can do mountain climbers if you want. You can do plank jacks and get up and do some running, jogging, like whatever, as long as you're getting your heart rate up for those 30 seconds. If you don't want to do um, bicycles, I just wanted to incorporate some core at the same time with uh, kind of core cardio. You got this, come on. Inside, four, three, elbows back one well done bring your knees into your chest you're going to go side to side just massage your spine well done so from here i want you to just
just get a nice long stretch from the tip of your toes to the tip of your fingers. Nice and long. So stretch, stretch, stretch. You feel it in that rectus abdominis. Feel it in the legs. Feel it everywhere. And then let go and just sweep your arms by your side. You can shavasana. Palms up to the ceiling. And I just want you to let go of everything. Just relax. Bring yourself to your mat. To your mat. Bring your attention here with me. And now relax. So for the first, for the next few seconds, just breathe. Take a stock of your body, see how you feel, and the sound of my voice will bring you back when you're ready. to wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. Open, close your eyes, look side to side. Bring your awareness back to your mat. And from here with your left leg straight or bent, bring your right leg up and I want you to take it up, flex and point and grabbing the back of your calf or your hamstring. Just relax. Be uncomfortably comfortable. Challenge yourself with each breath. Try to make that Stretch a little deeper in order to increase your flexibility. Now bring your leg down. Place your foot right beside the side of your leg above the knee or even below. And I want you to just drop your knee to the ground without twisting, right? Keep the hips, both hips on the ground, opening through the hip flexor, stretching through the hip flexor. And gently guiding, maybe gently pushing on the side of that leg to bring your downward there without the... The uh, opposite hip lifting, opening it up. Now let's do the other side. Other, other leg is bent or straight, flex and point. So just getting that stretch through the back of the leg. Again, with each breath, bring in that leg in. Like this. Breathe. Bring your awareness to the muscle that's that's stretching here. So again, push. I am pushing myself. I'm trying to take it to the point that if I don't feel any cramping or any shooting pain, but I'm still uncomfortable. Maybe a little bit of a shake here. And then bring it down. Foot by the side of the leg and open it up. Again, I always say your breath is your friend. Breathe. And then you realize how much when you take those deep breaths, you can really get deep into those stretches by just allowing your breath to take you there. Open through that hip flexor again, making sure that the opposite hip doesn't lift. And then straight out. Good. Now, bend, bring it in, place that right leg on top of the left, bring it into that figure four, and just circle the ankle in one direction. And the other foot, other, other leg. Open through the side. And then switch legs, other side. And do the same. Again, you can always um, gently press against that bent leg. Feel the deeper stretch in the glutes. Now I want you to come into tabletop, arms go to position. Now your option is to stay in tabletop or actually put your feet down because you're gonna to twist to one side and the other. If you are in tabletop, it's a little bit uh, more difficult. So slow drop your knees, let's say to the right as you go to the left. Get them right on the ground, nice and slowly. So you're in a twist, getting a nice stretch in your oblique, your side right at your upper back. As I said, if that's too much for you, or you feel like it's uh, 
uh, fall in your lower back, just place your feet on the ground and slowly drop your knees. And as always said, bring your ground or floor closer to you with a yoga block or something else that's uh, like a roll of towel. From here, I'm gonna lift back up into that tabletop using my core and then going to the other side. Again, if you're on the floor, you just lift and then keeping your feet on the floor and then going to the other side. You can always adjust if you need, if this is uh, not enough of a stretch, you can always extend the top leg or both legs, go straight. And keeping your shoulders down, there we go. Give it a nice stretch and big twist your side up to the upper back and then lift up against that tabletop and then bringing my knees into the chest and just side to side massage your spine so it's good and then going to a seal in a thigh stretch well done you can push against again the sides of your legs to get a deeper stretch close and down now go on your side Come up on your elbow and then just give a nice quad stretch here. Push forward with the hips to get a deeper stretch. We're almost there. And then let's switch to the other side. Get your quad stretch. And we just got a couple more stretches for the upper body as we come up. Just please make sure you've got your weights uh, put away so that you don't uh, roll your foot on a weight if, as, as you're trying to get up. So I'm gonna make sure my, my weights are away, put away here so I don't trip on anything as I come on back on all fours and roll up one vertebra at a time. The head is the last thing that comes up. And I want you to roll the shoulders back as you come up. Roll the shoulders forward. Feels so good. Excellent. Bring your right arm across the chest. You can always uh um Tilt the head away from the stretching shoulder, get a nice stretch on the neck and then into that tricep. So if you uh, had to leave early or you feel like you need more stretching, please continue to stretch after we finish off. Back here. And down. Now from here, I want you to interlace open through the chest. Shake it down. Let's take a couple deep breaths in, in and out, in and out. Last one in, on top of your toes, dip your toes side to side. It's beautiful. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you are in on Wednesday, we'll see you at the beach road. Take care. Bye-bye.